Right then, this is a quick walk around video for an absolutely beautiful Civic and a very, very rare one. Now, this is the top of the range, uh, 1.6 diesel EX Plus model. You see very few of these cars. Um, this car's covered just 56,000 miles and it's well known to us because we sold it to the chap a couple of years ago and we're absolutely delighted to have it back. And he's kept it exactly as we, it went out to him in really lovely condition. Um, you can see there, it's on the Northern Irish plates, which is obviously a UK registered car. I actually really like the plates in Northern Ireland. You, you can, if you want to, um, via DVLA, put them onto the um, British mainland plate. But I just think it looks really rather nice. Um, 2014 car. Lights and lenses, clear and intact. Bonnet, very, very clean indeed. Um, Passion Red looks absolutely stunning on these cars, I have to say. Uh, never does it justice in the videos, but that be as it may, I'll carry on. Near side front alloy, generally good, just the odd minor mark there. And panel work is very, very clean indeed. Near side rear alloy, again, very good condition. And coming around the back, and on the EX Plus models, you have extended black inserts covering the rear reflectors there. But all very, very clean and tidy. And the offside, driver's side, again, beautifully smooth in the panels. Really is in typical condition there. Um, offside rear alloy. This one does have a few little pickle marks on some of the silver sections there, which is common on this age, um, but these alloys are far, far better than most you'd see. Um, that doesn't detract, it's just, you know, it's the age of the car. And then offside front alloy, again, very good. Um, not much on there at all, but externally, Cars in very nice condition. It's coming to the back of the car now. Cavernous boots on the Civics. Beautifully finished, as you expect of a Honda. What's nice to see, the last chaps put a load liner sort of carpet to, uh, to cover the carpet underneath. Coming on the back now, wide opening rear doors, loads of leg room, and beautiful leather work. It's been kept absolutely fantastically well. And not always the case with Civics, they are family cars and can be very heavily used. Coming on the passenger side, again, really clean and tidy. Footwear is really nice. Lovely set of uh, Honda mats fitted as well. Passenger seat there, in glorious condition. It's finally coming to the driver's door card. Again, really clean and tidy. Some of the footwell areas there. And driver's seat, again, for the age of mileage, is in really good condition. With just the minor amount of air just sliding out of the car. So we're inside the car now. Engine's running as always. So dashboard can be seen illuminated and these are stunning inside absolutely beautiful but this one's been kept beautifully as well sat nav you can see working exactly as it should let's pop the car into reverse there you can see the rear parking camera working likewise let's continue down it's been kept absolutely beautifully and that is the view you get as a driver of a civic i mean it really is a stunning dash design and um, there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all and if i pan up here for you hopefully you can see 56,069 miles recorded on the car. Finally, just to show you, owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut key, all here and present with the car. Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda Civic 1.6 EX Plus diesel. Car's registered SFZ1091 and with a mileage of just 56,070 miles recorded. The reason for all of our videos, and especially this part, is to ensure that if anyone's online looking at any of our cars, they get to see the very car advertised actually in operation. Um, the reason why you've felt it to be important is because like loads of people, we've been to see cars which have looked absolutely fine in photographs or description, but only to get there and find out it's got an obvious fault that shows up when you drive the car, so hence that's why we do it. Um, also done on these very quiet country roads in this beautiful part of Gloucestershire. Um, this actually forms part of the road test route we take our customers on, and the hope is then that it'll be representative, hopefully, of what you feel yourself if you're offered a test drive in the car. Um, so coming to the car, as I mentioned in the walk around section, it's a car that's very well known to us, having sold it to the chap a couple of years ago now very nice to see him again he's kept it absolutely beautifully um, it's you know it was a lovely car when we sold it to him and it still is a lovely car um, 
engine starts, push, push button start, because it's got the top of the range keyless start and keyless entry, starts instantly, settles to a smooth, even idle. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all, relating to the engine or any other part of the car. And temperature gauge running as a third, which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda vehicle. Um, the engines are simply brilliant. Um, they do everything you want from a diesel. They give ridiculously good fuel economy figures. Um, you can, you know, 60 plus is more eminently achievable. I know Honda quotes 70, but I'm sure someone gets it, but you can pretty much forget that. But still, you know, and it comes relatively easily to the car as well, by the way, you don't just kind of nurse them along. Um, they have all the qualities you'd expect of any Honda engine in that they're, unbelievably reliable and long-lasting and they're cam chain driven there's no cam belts to worry about on them but more than that they're just a really pleasant engine to use day in day out it's flexible it's punchy it's smooth quiet especially on a cruise and um, you're only, only really aware <coughs> pardon me that it's a diesel you know at low speeds low revs because even a honda can't engineer out you know what is a characteristic of any diesel um, engine then feeds into the clutch and gearbox, clutch in the car, absolutely perfect. Bike point exactly where it's meant to be, and it's lovely and smooth in operation. Um, gearbox, classic Honda gearbox, absolutely brilliantly done. Um, Honda make a real effort um, to make sure that all of their controls have a kind of a weighty engineered feel to them, because that's what they are. And the gearbox is a classic example of that, whereas most cars in this class will give you a sort of fairly light, notchy, lifeless sort of gear change. This feels, as I said, substantial. Put it into gears, you can feel it engaging, which is all the more remarkable because it is cable operated, um, as most front wheel drive cars are these days. But that feels like it's just going straight into the box underneath, which it isn't, of course. And it feels exactly like it would have done when it was new because there's zero wear in it. And then we come to the steering and chassis, which in lots of ways is my favourite part of this car. Um, the steering is beautiful. Um, quite often, again, electric power steering systems can be devoid of feel or any kind of you know, idea of what's going on, really. They're, you know, they're like playstations. This has a nice natural weight to it. It feels very confident, never feels nervous on the road, but it's very direct it's, and pinpoint accurate. Um, it also tracks dead straight, there's no vibrations at this speed or any speed up the legal limit. Um, and then the chassis itself is just joyous, because if you just want the car for, as a family car to get from A to B, it does that brilliantly well. Um, but more than that, for those who still enjoy their driving, it rewards, because it's, it's keen to change direction, it's got a lovely natural balance to it, but it still allows for this very compliant very comfortable ride so it does a wonderfully resolved chassis it really is um, and there are absolutely no noises from underneath the car no rattles no clonks nothing at all it's as solid as a rock um, likewise brake pedal of the car I'm just going to leave this a little bit later to brake for this junction I would do normally but nice solid brake pedal powerful without any pulsing or vibration at all so all in fine fine order and then we come to the interior of the car. I mean, it's a wonderful place to sit and drive a car. You've got this gorgeous interior, which I've always loved, but I know, and I know that's a bit of a Marmite thing. You know, some like it, some don't. Um, but I love it for lots of reasons. The interior, A, is in beautiful condition. B, is made out of very nice materials. C, has got tons of space. It's incredibly practical interior in here, but it is beautifully put together no squeaks no rattles nine years old this is real build quality um, and the dash layout is unlike anything in this class and for good reason i think just it's styled to sort of to be pleasing to the eye but also to be ergonomically um sound and it does a brilliant job um, the most um traditional you know it's a fairly standard fare in the middle here, your centre stack, uh, you've got your sat nav all working, climate control, which is dual zone, you can see you can have different temperatures side to side. Um, again, all working perfectly, ice cold air pumps out of that, we checked that in a warm workshop earlier on, heated seats again likewise working perfectly. 
Um, all of the switch gear, as you always get with Hondas, has a beautifully um, damped quality feel to it. It's just, again, it's the little details which they do so well. And then what you've got in front, I think, is one of the best designs you'll ever sit behind. Uh, you've got this two-tier style dashboard, so it gives you an upper and lower um, display. The upper display is basically there to give you um, the information you can look at most regularly. Um, sorry, just a chap literally an inch off my bumper. <laughs> Crikey me. I'm sure he saved myself like three and a half seconds doing that. But there we go. Um, so, yeah, um, sorry, coming back to that, back to the world of the living. Um, so, the upper deck information display there um, with sort of basic sort of trip information, other stuff you can do as well. Uh, but if you change things like your fan speed, you get a little display down here, but a much bigger one up there, same for any kind of radio information. Um, so, it's easier to, to read. But the one everyone's going to look at, hopefully, on a more regular basis, apart from the chat probably behind me, is your speed. Um, and there it is, digitally displayed, all by itself. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And then down below that, you've got this pod of dials. Um, again, big rev counter mounted in the middle, flanked by the temperature and fuel gauges either side. And then finally, you've got this lovely leather bound steering wheel. Um, I, I've got a 2019 Civic at the moment, which has got the new dashboard, and I still prefer this dashboard. Um, I just think. You know, when you get in, you look around the dash, it's easier on the eye in terms of kind of trying to get information. Um, new ones are just a little bit more fussy. You have, you tend to have to sort of look down and squint for a bit. Uh, but this is just genius. Uh, the car drives absolutely perfectly. Cannot fault it in any way.